In this video, you will learn how to configure Isinga to monitor your MySQL source and replica servers in your clusters. You will learn how to use the Check MySQL Health plugin to monitor various states of your MySQL database, such as the database uptime, database size, the clients that are currently connected to the database, and the replication status. I won't cover the installation of Isinga Master and Isinga Agent in this video, so please check out my other videos in the description below for those procedures. Now let's get into it. Log into your MySQL source server and create a dedicated user that we will use to collect the needed information in the database. Please take note that I'm using MySQL version 8, therefore if you have a different MySQL version, this command might not work for you. This command will create the Isinga user and it will only allow to log in from my Isinga master server. Next, grant Isinga user with specific privileges in order to collect the needed information about the database. Now go back to Isinga master. If we look at the Nagios plugin directory, we can see that it doesn't have the Check MySQL Health script installed. To use the Check MySQL Health script, we must install the monitoring plugins contribution package. Let's check to see if the script check MySQL health is installed now. As we confirmed, the necessary script is now installed. Although this script supports a variety of check modes, we will concentrate on the following ones. Uptime, threads connected, slave lag, slave IO running, slave sql running, slow queries, long running procs, and sql. First, modify the rule file for the MySQL source database host and add an attribute, vars.mysql as a custom variable, specific to the MySQL service that we will create later. Also, add the same variable to the rule file for the MySQL replica server. Next. Create the apply service rules for monitoring the MySQL server's uptime. This line indicates that this is an apply service rule. This will create a service with the display name MySQL uptime for all hosts where the custom variable vars.mysql is defined. This means that it will use the check MySQL health plugin. Using the mode uptime option. We should also specify the MySQL username and password that we created previously and assign this service to a specific host using the vars.mysql variable. Now let's validate the configuration. If everything looks good, we can now restart Isinga. Now, navigate to the hosts list on the Isinga web UI. Select your MySQL servers and you should see the new monitoring that checks my SQL uptime. Next, let's create a rule that will report how many connection threads are currently open. Modify the same file we used previously for the uptime service rule. We will add a new service rule as it follows. Each name of service rule should be distinct. So I gave the MySQL threads connected service rule a different name here. Then I want this check to appear in the Isinga web UI as MySQL open connections. Of course, the check MySQL health plugin will still be used for this. Then the mode for this service rule is threads connected. Also, we still need to specify the database username and password and set the host variable object as well. Now, save and exit then validate the service rule file. If there's no error, we can now restart Isinga. Now, go back to the Isinga web UI and check your MySQL servers. There should now be new monitoring that checks MySQL connected threads. When you see output unavailable, just hit the check now link in the top menu. As we can see here, there are currently three connected clients on the MySQL source server. We will now add monitoring for slow queries in MySQL. First, 
we need to create a directory for this check on the Isinga master server. And the Nagios user should have ownership of this directory. As you may have noticed, we never created a Nagios user in this video. Nagios user was created when we installed the monitoring plugins contribution package. Let's make another change to the previous file. Now add the following service rule for slow queries. I believe you already understand what's going on, so I'll save and exit this file. Like we did before, I'm going to validate and restart Isinga. Now let's go to the Isinga web UI and check the monitoring that we created. For the long running process check, we are going to do as we did before, but I'm going to show you how to create a warning and a critical alert. Let's modify the same file and add the service rule for my SQL long running prox. As you can see, the rule is pretty familiar. But right here, I added a rule that will create a warning alert if the process is already running for more than 120 seconds. And it will create a critical alert if the process has already been running for more than 300 seconds. Now let's save and exit. Also validate and restart Isinga. We can now go to the Isinga web UI and check for the service check that we just created. As of now, I don't have much running on my database servers, so the long running processes right now is currently zero. If we scroll a little bit here, we can see that the warning threshold is 120 seconds and the critical threshold is 300 seconds. Now let's proceed with the setup for monitoring MySQL replication. If we look at the available modes of the Check MySQL Health plugin, there are three available modes to check MySQL replication. There is the Slave Lab, Slave IO running, and Slave SQL running. If you have MySQL replication set up, you probably want to know when a slave falls behind the master. The Check MySQL Health plugin makes it simple to monitor slave lag. In order to retrieve the necessary replication information from the database server, the MySQL user that we created earlier needs additional permissions on the replica server. Go to your replica server and log in to MySQL as root. Then we grant replication client permission to Isinga user to enable to read the status of the database replication. In terms of security, it is very important that we indicate the host name where the user will connect from. Now go back to the Isinga master server, and again, using custom variables in host definitions and combining them with apply rules is a good idea and makes it easier to extend the setup and connect more slaves. In this case, the host is a Linux server that also has a MySQL installation and works as a MySQL slave. An apply rule can use the information to create proper services that check the slave lag for all hosts that work as MySQL slaves. Now we need to create the apply service rule file for the MySQL replica. This service rule is identical with the service rule we created before for the MySQL uptime. The only thing that was changed was the mode and the assigned host variable, where we changed it to MySQL replica. After saving the file, let's validate and restart Isinga. Now let's check it in the Isinga web UI. The service check is present when we go to the MySQL replica host. When I go to the MySQL source host, however, the service check does not exist, which is fine because we only want the check to be in the MySQL replica. Next, 
We'll go over the other two service checks for monitoring the status of my SQL replication. First, let's create the service rule for monitoring the slave IO status. I'm still using the Check My SQL Health plugin here and the slave IO running mode. Again, let's validate and restart Isinga. On the Isinga web UI, Verify that the check that we just created is present on the MySQL replica host. We can also see here that the MySQL source host does not get the additional service check. Now we'll add another monitoring mode for checking slave status. But this time we will use the slave SQL running health mode. Let's validate and restart Isinga again. Now let's see if the new service check is present. Let's test if the service check is actually working. Go to my SQL replica server and stop slave process. Now let's go back to the Isinga web UI. There should be an alert about slave IO and slave SQL not running. The next check is in about 30 seconds but I'm going to hit check now for the sake of showing the alert. As you can see here, the slave SQL check is still okay and running. By default, the check is done every 60 seconds, which is why the alert doesn't appear immediately. The alerts have now appeared. It makes sense that this is critical. Now that we've verified that Isinga generated an alert, Go back to the MySQL replica server and start the slave process. We can verify here that the slave process started successfully. Go back to the Isinga UI and the alert should be cleared. On my next video, there's one more MySQL checking option I want to show you, and I believe this is very useful. The SQL mode of Check MySQL Health allows you to send that exact SQL query to your database. By using SQL mode, the Check MySQL Health plugin allows you to run any query you like against the MySQL servers, so you can keep an eye on what's important for your setup. So subscribe and hit that notification bell. That's all for now. Drop me your feedback and comments below. If this video helped you in any way, please like share and subscribe. Thank you.